Hello peeps, today we'll take a look at the best foldable phone in the market. I made this list based on my favorites and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the up-to-date prices and more information about these excellent products, you can check out the link in the description below. Let's get started. The Booming Echo Studio is Amazon's first premium audio hardware product in a never-before-seen package. While it's a notch below the Sonos One in terms of sound quality, it's one of the best Alexa devices for audiophiles that lets you use Alexa calling. It's designed to support Amazon HD Unlimited, Amazon's 3D audio platform, and even has a bass aperture to ensure the fullest possible sound. The Echo Studio does have that. The Sonos One lacks a 3.5mm audio in port. So, for example, you can connect a turntable directly to the Echo Studio to elevate its sound. It might not be the best entry-level Echo, but we found it's worth the $200 price tag if you're looking for a great speaker that makes use of all Alexa's features. The Bose Home Speaker 500 is the best home speaker for Alexa that we've tested. It comes with Alexa and Google Assistant built in and is excellent at understanding when you're far away and in noisier settings. You can use your mic mute button when you no longer want your assistant to listen to you. You can even use Alexa to command any Bose innovative products or Amazon Echo products you own. Out of the box, it has a fairly neutral sound profile, suitable for listening to a wide variety of audio content. Its balanced mid-range ensures vocals and lead instruments sound clear and present in the mix, though higher pitched voices and instruments can sound dark at times. That said, it lacks some low bass, so you can't feel the deep thump and rumble typically present in bass-heavy music. Fortunately, you can tweak its sound thanks to the bass and treble adjustments featured in its companion app. You can even pair it to compatible Bose speakers to play different audio in different rooms across your home at once. But I like this speaker. The Martian Stanmore 2 Bluetooth speaker delivers intense audio, but its price feels a bit high for the overall experience it delivers. The Stanmore 2 Bluetooth falls in the middle of its three new options in size, price, and power. Fans of the iconic Marshall look won't be disappointed with Stan 2's aesthetics. The speaker sounds very good, but compared with its more expensive sibling, the Woburn 2 Bluetooth, the Woburn 2 Bluetooth, which packs an extra woofer, isn't cheap but lives up to its cost, while the Stanmore 2 Bluetooth, also not cheap, feels a bit overpriced for what you get. It's a solid speaker, but if you're willing to save some money and spring for the Woburn 2, you won't be disappointed. The 5-band in-app EQ, as well as the bass and treble knobs on the speaker itself, allow you to dial in your perfect sound. The new Denon Home 350 plays all your music wirelessly in stereo with the reference quality sound you expect. Now play your favorite online streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music to enjoy high-res files stored on your phone or network via Wi-Fi, AirPlay 2, or Bluetooth. You can enjoy your music from any room of your house and group other products with Heos built in, such as AV receivers, hi-fi systems, sound bars, and speakers to fill your home with detailed, expansive sound. Play different music in each room, or group all of your Heos built-in devices together to stream the same music throughout your home. It has voice control and six presets, making it easy for anyone in the family to play their favorite music. With two 3 quarter inch dynamic tweeters, two robust 2-inch mid-bass drivers, and two powerful 6.5-inch subwoofers, enjoy clear, room-filling, high-resolution audio. The Add-on C3 is another superb addition to AudioPro's arsenal of multi-room speakers. The AudioPro is a neat package with attractive proportions. It's properly portable, but couldn't be described as light enough to be carted around in a rucksack all day. Compared to the T3 on which it's based, the C3 loses the rear USB port and along with it the ability to charge a smartphone. In its place, you'll find an Ethernet socket for hardwiring the speaker to your home network. Adding new wireless features has also impacted battery life. You get around 9 hours of playback at 100% volume and up to 15 hours at 50%, compared to 12 and 30 hours respectively with the T3. It's not the end of the world though, especially when you consider most rival multi-room speakers have to be permanently tied to a main socket. 
Compared to other models in its add-on range, the Audio Pro C3 gets a new look top panel. It's busier but neatly laid out. With a new source selector button, an LED indicator for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and its 3.5mm input. The volume control in the center has a new vertical design, and the Bluetooth and pairing buttons are now combined into one. Okay, that's all for today guys. I hope you liked the video. Please tell us which products you'd like us to review next in the comment section, and don't forget to check the description box for all the buy links of products featured today. Thank you.